On July 10th, 1759, in St. Hubert, Ardennes, Belgium, a star was born. Little did he know he would become one of the most known botanical artists known to history. Many know Pierre Redoute as a French artist, but even though he spent most of his life in France, he was in fact Belgian. In his family, he was the second boy born to a long line of painters. His father taught him how to paint as soon as he could grasp a paintbrush, and by the age of six, he was creating his own small paintings. Daddy, Daddy, look what I drew. I drew flowers. I really like drawing flowers. That's great, son. I'm proud of you. Maybe someday you'll be as good as your father. I'm gonna go draw some more. At age 13, Pierre-Joseph Redoute left home to pursue his dream as an artist. He spent the next decade studying the arts and paintings of the Flemish masters when and where he could. In Amsterdam, he came across the flower paintings of both Rachel Roosh and Jan van Heusem, who were prominent Dutch 18th century flower painters whose paintings sold for lots of money. This is where his motivation and direction came from with his work. These paintings are so good. I'm not going to stop until I can make a living out of this. In 1782, at age 23, he joined his older brother in Paris to work as a stage set designer for the new Theatre Italien. He devoted his time off to developing interest in painting flowers. He sought rare plants to draw and drew the many unusual plants in the glass houses of Le Jardin de Roy, the royal garden of medicinal plants, now known as the Jardin des Plantes. This is where he met Charles Ledite. He was a French aristocrat, biologist, and paint collector. Ledite taught Redoute about plant anatomy, the dissection of flowers, and their scientific representation, and what botanists required of illustrations. He had Redoute illustrate a book on botany, and as a result, he created more than 50 drawings, which were then engraved to become part of Ledite's Stripes Nové in 1784 and 85. In 1786, Pierre Redoute went with Larry Terre to London where he learned the techniques of paintings and met English botanical painters such as James Sobery. In total, he created over 500 drawings for Larry Terre. From 1788 to 1840, Redoute spent his time in Paris. He achieved his success as a painter while working for the French royal court and had a talent for surviving as a painter for those at the top of the French society despite political changes. In 1786, he worked at the Museum of Natural History. He cataloged the collections of flora and fauna and was also involved in botanical expedition to Egypt. In 1793, Pierre Joseph won with his brother and other artists a competition held by the Museum of Natural History to select artists for the museum. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
In 1819, Redoute's artworks were exhibited at the Louvre. In 1822, he became an art teacher, and in later life, he was impoverished due to his early spending habits when he earned good money. Yes. No, this is not right. What, what are you drawing? This is supposed to be a flower. This is very bad. And you're not using the right colors. I need this color. Yes, but. In 1828, John James Adubo, the famous ornithological artist, visited Redoute in his studio and showed him the first parts of Birds of America. Adubo commented in his journal that Redoute had told him he had received as much as 250 guineas for a single painting. And later, Charles X agreed to purchase La Rosa's for 30,000 francs. At age 80, he began painting significant artwork, but never realized it. On June 19, 1840, at age 80, Pierre-Joseph Redoute died suddenly in Paris. His grave can be found in Père Lachaise Cemetery in Paris.